So one of the first conversations we get into as customers consider Gen 6 fiber channel is speed. And the question of, am I really going to need 32 gigabit per second in, in serial or 128 gig in parallel? And the answer is, you will. If you look at it historically, we've always gone through this conversation. People thought, oh, this is going to be overkill, it's going to be too much. But if you look at what technology does, software and application always figures out how to consume all of the available resource. That never varies. It's happened in every generation of technology we've ever had. But speed is only the tip of the iceberg. When you think about Gen 6, there is so much more to the technology than just the raw speed. In fact, for most of the customer base, say maybe 95% of the customer base, raw speed won't be the primary reason they move into Gen 6 in the first 18 to 24 months. There are other feature sets built into the technology. There are other feature sets built into the ASIC, right? Um, the ability to balance the, the platform. When you look at what's coming, and, and you know, we can use media as a, as a quick example, 4K cameras moving to 8K cameras, but not just the number of cameras, the number of layers uh, in the production where you know, two to three layers or four layers of, um, of, of overlay might have been uh, the norm before, 12, 15, 20 plus layers now is not an uncommon thing. So the data set in each of these uh, images is huge. But also for finance, for healthcare, for, um, enter uh, for entertainment certainly, but for business purposes as well, you're going to see this raft of, of information and data continue to grow. We're talking you know, north of 8,000 exabytes of digital data this year alone. And if you compare that to you know, estimates by University of California Berkeley that the human race took 10,000 years to generate the first 12 exabytes, 8,000 exabytes in digital data in just one year is insane. What will you do with that? How will you see it? How will you get it to your machines? You also have to think about it as a balance for I.O., right? And so, you know, people talk about CPU and memory, and it's important. It's critical, right? But you have to feed that CPU. If you can't feed the CPU, it just sits there, right, wasting its, wasting its cycle. So, you know, on the left side, you've got Intel putting together these massive CPU complexes and scale of memory that's staggering to anybody who's been in the computer industry for more than five years. And then on this side, you've got these all-flash arrays, which are incredibly fast. Well, the CPUs operate on the data that's in the all-flash array. How will you get the data to the CPU, right? Where's your performance? And that's where you're gonna see the, the continuing progression of need for speed in, in, Gen, in Gen 6 fiber channel. But it also needs to be able to be measured, right? We're living in an extremely virtualized world today. Um, application owners no longer know where their hardware is, right? The infrastructure guys don't necessarily want the application guys to know where their hardware is, right? So that becomes a, you know, an, an issue as well. But you still have to be able to respond to, why is my application behaving this way? What's going on in the environment? And the level of visibility, so uh, something we call IO Insight that, that's in Gen 6, um, is just enormous, right? The ability to look at the, at the network and to be able to tell what's going on and to do it in a non-disruptive manner. And by that I mean there is no impact to performance in the measurement that we do, right? Because we've built it into the silicon, right? So the data path is not interrupted at all by the measurement. And this is very unique in the industry. As well, we see and we count every single frame that goes across the switches, right? This is not a sampling mechanism. It's not an occasional glance out the door to see how the traffic's doing. No, this is we're monitoring and measuring everything. And there is nothing in the market that can do that. So when you look at it as an overall package, right, you have to start thinking about, you know, what am I going to do? What am I going to need? You really need to consider where technologies like NVMe over Fabric are going to take the latencies of the, of the network. You need to look at what's the content going to be. You need to try and think ahead of the application guys a little bit because you don't want to be playing catch up to them uh, all the time. And you need to be thinking about how deep am I going to be stacking my virtualized environments? What kind of utilization curve can I expect out of these uh, out of these new hardwares. And so you do really need to think about Gen 6 as a platform for your next generation of, of data center because you will need this performance, right? And it's built to architect the future, right? So it's built to sustain throughputs for use cases we can't even imagine yet, right? But they will come. They always do.